You sure you're at the right party? This is a celebration for the Saints, is it not? Business with Marshall is less lucrative than it used to be. I was hoping your bosses would be interested in a new partnership. I'd knock if I were you. Hello? It's Antonio Espina. <clears throat> Look, I, I know that we don't have the best history, but I was thinking, hoping, really, that we could work something out. Antonio, glad you came to your senses. Hey, I'm kind of having a party right now, but we'll talk business later. We got a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros, fuck the Idols, fuck Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby. So if you know how to shoot a gun or if you're broke and want to learn how, swing by the church. We'll be waiting for you. Hello, and welcome to Marshall Defense Industries. You know it wasn't easy getting here. Your journey began with one of the most unforgiving job interviews we could devise. But you did more than just survive a few live fire exercises. You excelled, and in doing so, proved that you were Marshall material. But don't take my word for it. Hear it from the man himself. Hello, I'm Atticus Marshall and I wanted to personally welcome you to the Marshall family. Here at MDI, we don't just make a problem. We make the world a better place. So how do we do that? With a little TLC. Technologically advanced weapons, loose morals, and a culture of conflict. Now let's take a step through each of those letters. Why are you watching that now? It's the orientation video. I know what it is. Why are you watching it now? 
Well, I mean, we're about to be shot at, so I figured it couldn't hurt to brush up on our healthcare package. If you weren't paying attention to the briefing, I don't think you'll live long enough for your copay to matter. So I should be reviewing the life insurance policy. You know, our job interview has a 5% mortality rate. Statistically, the odds were low that you would die before we hired you, but I allowed myself to be an optimist. Your parents should have treated you better. Yours should have treated you worse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, contrary to your colleague's demeanor, this is no laughing matter. The Nawali already took out one team that was sent to bring him in, and I want as many of us going home as possible. So stick to the plan, work together, and let's grab that son of a bitch and send him to the frontier. Let's get paid. Alpha team, go. First day on the job. Don't fuck up. Noobie, catch up. Right, let's kick some holy shit. Turrets, take cover. Ugh. That was good. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's my first fucking day. Shit! Anybody left? Me, I think. Figures. We have to rendezvous with Bravo Team, or we're dead. Just keep pushing forward. I'll meet you there. Copy that. Welcome to the daily grind. Ah. Ooh, you still alive? You sound like you lost the pool. Fall in. We'll use this APC for cover. A rolling shield. Nice. Now nah, I'm delighted you approve. Bailey, make a hole. Roger that. Now let's go. Through the breach. Go, go, go. Keep it up, team. Let them have it. Yeah. You guys fucked with the wrong multinational private military corporation. Hey, maybe a weird time to ask, but do we get hazard pay? You get a performance bonus for outstanding work, if you survive to collect it. Got it. Just trying to understand the pay structure. Driver's hit. Bailey, you all right? Bailey! Bailey, get your foot off the gas! Oh, shit! Gwen? Gwen, can you hear me? Anybody? Shit. Either they're all dead, or there's no signal. Guess I should push on and find the Nawali myself. <sighs> what does it take for a man to be able to enjoy a quiet drink these days? Mr. Nawali? You're coming with me. You really think you have what it takes to bring me in? I mean, yeah. Hey, where are you fucking going? I said you're coming with me. Perhaps I don't respect your authority. Then respect this. You set one foot on those stairs. Holy shit! No, you goddamn don't! We know he's in the saloon. He can't stay in there forever. What the fuck? Thanks for the ride. I'll see you around. We need air support, now! Stand down! We don't got time for hero bullshit! Don't worry, I got this. Gwen, we've got a problem. Hang on, the cavalry's coming. Come out with your 
hands up. <laughs> Not today. Try. I'll give you that. Get your hands in the air. <coughs> I caught him. Well, you didn't die. All in all, not a bad start. Jesus Christ! You're not gonna last. Your pep talks need some work. This is for you. Performance bonus. Is this a joke? You, uh, you ribbon the rookie? What were you expecting? There's supposed to be a bonus based on exceptional performance. That's right. And if you had performed exceptionally, you would have seen a bonus. Oh, come on. Can you really look me in the eyes and say I didn't do well? I can look you in the eyes and say you didn't do what you were told. I saw a better way and I took it. And if you were in charge, it would have been an inspired decision. But you're not. I am. This is a warning. Fall in line or find a new job. <sighs> Fall in line? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! God fucking damn it! El Segundo, that's my wallet in El Segundo. That's my wallet in El Segundo. God fucking damn it all! I got, got to get it. I left my wallet in El Segundo. Every last fucking bit! God damn it all! In El Segundo. Motherfucking microscopic, itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, son of a bitch, bastard ass, tiny little shit sucking bit of it! Oh, everything smells amazing, Kev. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy it with the exposure the idols pay you in. Don't expect us to chip in. I've told you before, the idols are trying to build a post-capitalist society where money is not a concept. Yeah? Then why don't you go run off and join the commune? I'm into showering. Are you gonna help me get the waffle maker or not? As an investor, I don't like wasting money. You're wearing a fucking bow tie. <sighs> okay. I will throw in 20 bucks for a waffle maker. Nina? Um, good for 10? Who helped you move your forged paintings last month? Fine, 15. What sort of waffle maker can I get for 35 bucks? Uh, presumably one that makes fucking waffles? Hey! <laughs> hey! The wage slave is back! How was your first day? Were the other mercenaries nice to you? You know, as far as hired killers go, I'd give them a seven. You look like you could use a mugmosa. Thanks, Eli. Seriously, how's the job? Uh, it's the murder business. The fundamentals don't change, just the uniform. Uh, I can tell you love it. Okay. I don't have to love it, I have to pay my student loans. Poof. I'm in. So, I'm guessing that means the pay's good. Uh, it's supposed to be. Got stiffed on my bonus today. Dude, what the fuck? Uh, I played a little fast and loose on the job and, uh, well, I see I wasn't a fan. You gotta be kidding me. Swear to God, this lady walked right off the set of an 80s action movie. 
I was half expecting her to call me Rook and threaten to take my badge. Are we gonna make rent? We'll make rent. We just gotta be a little more creative. Last time we got creative, I got stabbed three times. Hey, it would have been four times if Nina and I hadn't shown up. It would have been zero times if you were on time. This is true. Look, this is really not a big deal. We just knock off a payday loan place. No one gives a shit if people rob those bastards. You have a job now. You could actually just take the loan. Eli, I don't do business with morally bankrupt companies. You work for Marshall. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas, not debates on morality. All right, all right. Man, this is really fucking good, Kev. Thanks. I was worried I added too much pepper. Mm -mm. Mm, no, seriously, this is perfect. The only way this could be better is if you put on a fucking shirt. Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, please. <laughs> 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 Boss. That's right. Be your own boss. One of these days, I'm gonna get you to listen to music in the car. Roger McGillicuddy speaks the music of my soul. You are a different kind of cat, Eli. What can I say? The world is full of uninteresting people, and I'm not gonna be one of them. You got one of those for me? You really want one after last time? I am not the first person to accidentally shoot a friend by dropping a loaded... Yeah, okay, I don't need a gun. Good call. Showtime. So I made them watch while I broke their dad's... Ah, oh, shit. Walk away, or the phrase dead-end job gets literal. Ah! I, I don't have much... We don't want your money, just his. Get out of here. You done fucked up. I've been getting that a lot lately. Where's a safe? If you're lucky, the cops will get to you before my people. <laughs> nice left. Been practicing. I can tell. Safe's back here. This guy had his password be a bunch of fives. Pick it up, Eli. I'm just saying, he could have at least made his work for it. Same plan as last time. Eli, Kev, pretend traffic laws matter and get the money home. Nina and I will split up and give the cops the runaround. Cool, let me get the McGillicuddy. No! Oh. Try to keep up this time. Yeah, yeah. See you at the switch. Time to beat it before the cops show up. Life is full of adversity and challenges. But oh, fuck no. I'm monitoring the police scanner. They just responded to the call. The cops are now en route to the painting place. Sounds like they're out in force. Crap. Bad time for a train. on my ass. Nina, don't wait for me. I gotta lose these guys. Try sideswiping them. It always works for me. Just let them get alongside you, and then bam, send them into a ditch. Hit them when they're right up next to you. It really gets them flying. That took care of him. How's everyone else? Eli and I made it home with the money. You ready for karaoke? Start warming up those voices. Nina, where you at? Just changed cars and headed home. Good. Headed to my switch car now. It was safe and sound at the junkyard a minute ago. That's pretty deep in Pantero's territory. Did you tell your gang you did that? Are you kidding me? If Sergio knew we were running a job on his turf, he would have taken a 90% cut. 90%? Good God. Man's either a monster or a capitalist genius. What the fuck did you assholes do to my getaway car? Ain't your car if it's on our turf. 
Now you're gonna pay for parking! You're about to get stomped! Fun times. You think this is a game, motherfucker? Ugh! I'm on my way. There's a trail that goes between the mesas. I'll meet you on the other side. Got it. Do I wanna know what happened to the Panteros who stripped your car? Sorry, Nina. Self-defense. Fuck, I didn't want that to happen. Let's hope Sergio never finds out it was us. You said you didn't want to risk your car. I said I didn't want to risk it for rent. I'd risk anything for you, dummies. So, is this how it's gonna be every time we have to pay rent? I thought that went great. Yeah, okay. Maybe I can go back to running my old side hustles for extra cash? Don't worry. We'll figure it out. This town is full of opportunities. If you know where to look. Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros? I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. Oh, don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, per the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold her laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I hadn't stalled him, he would have got away. So, you're welcome. Do you want it to look like an accident or a statement? What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear? No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure, and then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No. Then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. Hey there. My name's JR. We about to see some action? Nope. Orders are to follow the convoy, observe its activity, and report back. Seriously? The convoy's right there. You know, I heard about you. I'm a little bit of a maverick myself. Two crazy badasses like us, we're not gonna mix it up? No. My friends are counting on me to get my performance bonus. I can't afford to screw it up. We don't engage. Just observe and report. Looks like them motorcycles are falling back. Probably just dropped something. Let's do this! Are you gonna just let them shoot at us? When was very clear I'm not engaging. We don't do something? All we're gonna observe and report is getting dead. Fine. Just this once. <laughs> That's how I like to ride. You bet. Following orders is harder than I thought. <laughs> Heads up! You got more incoming! Oh, come on! I was almost done! Oh, as long as I can. Finally, let's follow orders and fall back. Shit, 
Sergio. Don't fall back. Don't fall back. Mother fuck. You try to lose him, I'll keep him off our asses. Marshal needs to stay the fuck out of my business. Guys compensating for something? Don't count him out. It'll take more than a car wreck to kill that some bitch. Okay, time to finally get the fuck out of what is that? Sandstorm! We're going in! Come in, newbie! Gwen, we hear you. We're falling back. Negative! The drone is down! I need Need eyes on that convoy! I'm giving you field command! Fuck! Really? Do what you gotta do. Follow the lead truck until it stops, then radio. They are? Let's get them. The kid gloves are off. The kid gloves were on? Gwen, I followed the convoy. It, uh, it stopped. You did good. Holy shit, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. Over here. Now! Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the Hummingbird Codex. If that was something in the truck, then yes. Impressive work. I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR, sir. Team player. I like that. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Dr. Antonio Espina. He's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso. It's nice to meet you, sir. The retrieval of these relics is no small feat. The museum is in Marshall's debt. Just doing my job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities, but the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, oh, no, I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir. You there? The gal is about to start for the Hummingbird Codex unveiling. I want your security team in place. It's your night to shine. All right, team. Tonight's a big night, so nobody fuck it up. You, uh, uh, Johnson. How's the Codex? Ready for its entrance? Roger that. It's in position, and the display case hover tech is green. Good. I love this tech. Thank you. We're coming here this I'm evening. gonna check in with the boss. We Antonio's speech should be wrapping up. Join us for this very special celebration. Now, Bravo team, how's it hanging? Uh, fine. A very dear place in my heart. I saw that. <laughs> Just kidding. Ago, Relax. I was a young intern at the National... And of course, thanks to each and every one of you. Your donations tonight will benefit the international effort to end illegal traffic of stolen antiquities. Mr. Marshall, how was your evening, sir? Fine, fine. But I don't see our guest of honor. Where's my hummingbird codex? 
They'll be escorting it in any moment. That's what I like to hear. Have you met Myra Starr? She's on the Marshall Board of Directors. How do you do, ma'am? Quite well. So, you're Atticus's new hotshot. That's what it says on my ID badge. Oh, talented and confident. Reminds me of a younger me. Now, what say we celebrate? Go get yourself a drink. Yes, sir. I can't wait to get an up-close look at Don't this codex of yours. Here. We'll have the accountant write it off. What do you think you're doing? You don't drink on duty. I'm following orders. Atticus told me to celebrate. <laughs> of course he did. You want a word of advice? Watch your step around Atticus. He only sees results. No problem. That's what I give him. Uh-huh. Hey, what happened to not drinking on duty? I'm not on duty. This gal your security is, is in good hands. Hey, Nina. I'm on the job right now. That's why I'm calling. Los Panteros are about to try to take the Codex back. What? Are you sure? Yes, I'm driving getaway. I'd have called sooner, but I wasn't alone. Fuck. When? Nina, get off your phone. We're going in. Shit! Don't leave anyone alive! Oh. What the hell are Los Panteros doing here? I've got it under control. Glad you had that drink now? Maybe! Santo Eliso. The idols have come to save you from yourselves. Make no mistake, we will take the Codex. We will kill you all. We will bring the gift of anarchy to Santo Eliso. We are the idols. Fear us. You can come out, Miss Star. It's safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are really good at this. It's not my first time shooting up a place with a minigun, ma'am. Just the first time people are happy I did it. How the fuck did this happen? Shit. What's going on, sir? You. Sir, I know I made a little mess protecting the museum, but we have to look at the big picture. The threat's been neutralized, Miss Star is safe, and as you can see, the Codex is secure. A mess? Yes, there is a goddamn mess. I don't... I don't understand. Well, you were wasting time with her. The idol stole the Codex and replaced it with a fake. Sir, I wasn't wasting time. I was saving... Do you think I give a shit if Myra Star lives or dies? Atticus. You are replaceable. You are replaceable. That was not. Sir, I can lead a team to retrieve the Codex. The hell you can. You're fired. What? You're done. If I see you on Marshall property again, I'll have you shot. We'll make this right, Antonio. I promise. Thank you. I am sorry. are planning on attacking the museum. Hey, it's Kev. I, uh, I made your breakfast if you want some. That's cool if you don't. Nina wasn't hungry either. Sorry about last night. I didn't hear about the museum until it was too late to warn you. The Collective don't tell me shit. You should come to the Idols party with Eli and I later. Open bar? No? Okay, I'm gonna go. 
Just, uh, just know that Eli and I are worried about you guys. Later. Well, looks like we both got fucked over. Yeah. No work today? I'm leaving Sergio's group text on red. Fair. Los Panteros have been going downhill since he started leading. We used to be about family. Now it's all about him. Plus, he's zero for two this week, and that just makes him pissy. I want to eat my feelings. Come the fuck on. God damn it. Stupid refurbished appliances. Figures? the cutting room the premier auction experience for knife connoisseurs of all ages our first stop lung piercer a contemporary update on the classic shiv the lung piercer looks like we got a shopper in santa waliso that knows their stabbing implements let's bring out the next item it's been a hell of a day here on the cutting room but i've been saving the best for last the judas 3000 if brutus had had one of these bad boys he wouldn't have needed the senate to help stab caesar How many knives did you end up buying? Not enough. Hey, Sergio just texted us. <laughs> he has to be pretty pissed. Yeah, says he's planning on attacking the idols party. Man, I'd hate to be the idols right now. Everyone at that party is probably gonna get killed. Sucks to be Kevin Eli. Yeah. Oh we shit! Gotta go. They're not coming, are they? They'll get over it, man. Don't worry about it. <sighs> They're totally pissed at me. They'll get over it. Give them time. You mind if I get a drink? You do you, man. Can I have a white wine spritzer? You okay? I, I I don't think so. Get in and drive fast. Where's the party? The resort. We gotta move. Try to get a hold of Eli. I'm gonna call Kev. Come on. He picking up? Nothing. You? No. Yo, Fuck. this I got is Kevin. My phone's on Same silent. Here. So leave a message after I drop. <laughs> They're here. We're gonna get you out, but you'll have to walk. Oh. I'll, I'll try. Shit. Shit? Shit what? What now? Los Panteros should have left the party crashing to the experts. Looks like. 
like we missed one. Looks like you're gonna back the fuck off. No, 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 no! They're cool, they're with me. If they're with you, then you get to kill them. This is my last idol's party. You don't need this fucking cult anyway. What she said. Let's finish what you started and get Eli out of here. Yes, please. Honey, you are getting out of here. Not in one piece. You and your friends are obsolete. Okay, Eli, let's go. Old oh, man, we're in the shit now. We just pissed off the idols and Los Monteros. Yeah, big time. So let's not stick around until they come back. Agreed, let's move. And this time, I'm driving. Shit, Panteros are coming after us. That's it. I've had enough for one day. Keep driving. I'm gonna teach these fuckers a lesson. You, sir, you got them coming up back. Well, I got an RPG and some shit to work out. Let's see how that goes for them. I'm on a whole other level. Why aren't we at the hospital? Because you don't have insurance. I don't really care. <clears throat> what if you saw what they charged to fix a flesh wound? Cab, where's the- Hall closet, no, top shelf. Okay, this is gonna suck, buddy. Oh, fuck! You're doing great. You're being very brave. Fuck you. Hey, keep talking to Kev like that and you won't get a star on the star chart. <laughs> Ow! Oh, what are we gonna do? Finish sewing you up? Yeah, and then what? The Idols and Panteros aren't exactly our number one fans right now. Isn't that obvious? We're starting a criminal empire. What? Your car was right, Eli. About everything. Yeah, what the fuck is happening? Guys, we're really good at what we do. So why are we doing it for other people and not ourselves? I mean, you know how to start a business. Kev knows how to get attention. <laughs> I'm a walking murder party. And Nina? Nina's the best goddamn driver in the business. Who could touch us? Hell, we just took on two crews at once and walked away just fine. I was shot. And you're getting a sticker, so quit bitching. I'm in. Fuck yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Eli? Guys, this is a little crazy. What happened to there being a difference between surviving and thriving? Well, I survived being shot, and now I want to thrive without being shot again. Nina's down. Kev's down. Snickerdoodle is definitely down. Oh, do not bring her into this. Eli, this cat suffers no fools. <laughs> and neither should you. Uh. Is that a yes? Yeah, it's a yes. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I feel like there's a lot we're missing. There is, but it's enough to go on for now. What about criminals? Don't we kind of need more than three if we want to call this thing an empire? There's four of us. Oh, are you planning on shooting anyone? After that party, I think I'll stick to metaphorical blood on my hands. Yeah, that's less useful when people try to kill us. Nina's right. We need more people. We'll look more legit if we have a home base. Are you saying we're not legit already? Oh, I love you, but I'm allergic. <clears throat> yeah, point taken. All right, let's brainstorm. What would our place need? I gotta be able to host some parties and have more than a fucking galley kitchen to work with. I wanna be able to set up a proper garage to work in. I don't think Sergio's gonna be letting me near the forge anytime soon. That's good. What you got? I don't know, a ball pit? I'm joking. Kind of, I'm kind of joking. It needs to be defensible. We pissed off a lot of people, and let's not kid ourselves, they're gonna try to kill us. You're fun. Hey man, just being real. For me, we need it to be cheap. We don't have a lot of cash, so we'll probably be looking at a fixer-upper. So, we need an open space for the interior, a decent plot of land to build a garage, it's gotta hold up in a firefight, and it's gotta be dirt cheap. Yeah, 
I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a bitch find- I got it! Holy shit, we are so good at this. There's an old church, near Fort Cullen. The sanctuary is huge. I can turn the rectory into a garage. It's condemned, so it's cheap. And it's got a fucking graveyard, so we can stash the bodies. You fucking rock. What are we waiting for? Let's check this place out. Yeah, okay. Dead bodies notwithstanding, this place is pretty great. Right? There's a lot of potential here. A lot of work to do, but still... We're actually gonna do this, aren't we? You goddamn right we are. Wow, at least we've got a cool logo. I'll take it off the whiteboard. We need a name. The Saints. We call ourselves the Saints. Okay, so we got the name, we got the home base, we got the logo. So that means next step is to find people that can shoot guns? No. Uh, so that means next step is to make connections with the people that can shoot guns. Oh, come on, man. We want this thing to be more than a street gang. We want to be an organization, an institution. And that means we need to have our fingers in more pies. You got an idea where to start? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay. Everyone's action item is to reach out to their contacts and see what new business opportunities you can find for the Saints. Shit. My contacts all have their own things going already. What about JR? Your partner's on his garage, right? Maybe he'll go all in with the Saints. Couldn't hurt to ask. Great. What about you, Nina? I can't talk to any of my old Panteros contacts. But I do know some people who did business with them. I'm sure I can persuade them to do business with us instead. Nice. Kevin, <laughs> you want contacts? I got contacts, baby. Okay, go be superstars. Meantime, I'm gonna finish going through that briefcase we got from John Bland. That thing's a treasure trove, let me tell you. Everyone, keep me posted on your progress. JR, how'd you like to be part of something big? My friends and I are starting a new venture. Sounds awful nice, but our current venture's in trouble. Those Panteros are cutting into our profits something fierce. I'll tell you what. Join our new thing, and no one's ever gonna mess with this garage again. Well, you take care of this Pantero's problem, and I'll consider it. Deal. Well, we can count JR in. Uh, what is this? It's not board game night. No. This is where all our dreams come true. Don't say that. My dreams are pretty weird. While you were out talking to JR, I was going through the briefcase we got from John Bland. The real estate guy? Turns out the deeds of the church wasn't the only thing in there. As of now, we are the proud owners of a shit ton of empty lots all across town. That's real estate we can use to start up some new, um, entrepreneurial ventures. By which he means crimes. Fine, yes, crimes. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. I've got that covered. I spent the whole day baking my ass off. Okay, fine. They're empanadas. That's not a pie. It's in the pie family. Now I'm really hungry. Plan first, eat later. Right. So, how do we cover all this ground? One building at a time. So far, we've got the church. And Jim Robs. So what do we build next? Whatever we want. What's up, Eli? Meet me at the church. It's time to address our staffing needs. On my way. So, how do we staff up? Easy. I've got a 14-step plan. That sounds about 13 steps too long. Yeah. Why not just go to Boot Hill and show everyone what a badass you are? What's Boot Hill? Are you kidding me? Check out the laptop. Okay, Boot Hill is this live stream fight club kind of thing they do on the abandoned island out in the lake. This sick cat named Doc Ketchum runs the show. Fight club? More like murder circus. We need to recruit more saints, right? Everyone in town with a criminal record watches this live stream. 
Oh, he's right. I've seen Pantero streaming it. I just didn't know what it was called. But it's crazy dangerous. It's viral marketing. Viral marketing is not supposed to come with a mortality rate. It's like breaking out in the art world. You gotta do something to capture people's attention. This does. Plus it nails our target demographic. I don't know. You're the one who have to do this. What do you think? Y'all had me at murder service. You sure? We cannot afford to lose you. Also, you're our friend. We miss you. Ah, don't worry. I was born for this. Sweet. There's a ferry to the island that docks out back. We can do this whenever you're ready. So that's what being good at murder means. I know. Seeing it on a leaderboard really puts things in perspective. Should we be scared or reassured? Why not both? Eli, mute your fucking phone. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. These just keep coming in. Who are they from? People who are watching. They want to learn from the master. You know what that means. We got recruits? We got recruits. We got recruits! <laughs> hey man, you busy tonight? I'm at the gym. It's leg day. Why? I was gonna make popcorn and binge watch telenovelas till dawn. Yes, we can finally find out who killed Corazon. I'll meet you at the church as soon as I'm done here. just waking up? Telenovela binge last night. Kev was supposed to join, but he stood me up. That doesn't sound like Kev. Plus, he left his inhaler here, and he's not answering my texts. You think he's okay? I'm sure he's fine. I can run the inhaler to him anyway. Without interrupting anything, I hope. I'm tracking his phone. Looks like he's at the Snake Oil Saloon. The biker bar? Oh, maybe he's back with Tattoo Mom again. Oh, I liked her. I know, right? Come on, Kevin, pick up. Yes? Oh, hey, you're not Tattoo Mom. Uh, I was looking for Kevin. Hey, man, Kevin is, uh, shall we say, a little tied up at the moment. Wow, I did not need that detail. I'm just gonna drop this off. Where the fuck is Kevin?
Kevin ain't here, so fuck off. Ahem. Fuck you, Saint. Fuck you, Saint. Tell me where he is. Yeah, too easy. I want my friend, and I want his phone. Yes, I'm on the can. So? Someone in here! Fuck off! up anything on the socials? Yeah, some big idols party at a mansion and a, a timer counting down. Let me guess. A mansion by the Santa Beliso sign. I'm headed there now. The collective is behind it. Might need backup. Kev's all the backup I'll need. All right. Bring him home. Let me deal with this last bomb and we'll get out of here. Damn it. I should have waited for you on the telenovelas. So, who killed Corazon? Oh, shit. Her spirit possessed the priest and then testified that her evil twin... Never mind. We'll rewatch them together. There. That's the last bomb. Wow. You saved me. You're like literally my hero. What now? Now I say we wingsuit down to that mansion and teach those motherfucking motherfuckers what happens when they kidnap a saint. Lead the motherfucking way. Stupid cause. Freedom is a prison. Is that all of them? Yep. Oh, thanks for the rescue. Really owe you one. Ah, forget it, man. We're family. The idol said they were my family, too. Well, some families tie you to a chair so they can watch you explode, and others don't. Yeah. Thanks for being the second kind. Uh, Nina? Is that you? The fucking Pantero stole my fucking car! Your project car? Yes! This is Sergio stink all over it! I need your help! I'm getting my car back, with interest! On my way. Let's go get my car back. You want the wheel? I try not to drive angry. So, any idea where they took your car? If they stole it, they're gonna chop it. But you know Sergio. I wanna make it personal first. Take it for a spin, drag racing. Show the Panteros who's boss. The most likely place he'd do that is at the culvert in Smalterville. Hopefully we can catch him there before he carves it up. Who knows what that car means to me? Damn. I don't know if I ever said this in so many words, but that guy is a world-class crap sack. You spent hours on that car. I've spent years on that car. That's why he took it. As far as he's concerned, I didn't betray Los Panteros. I betrayed him. He's got to make it hurt. I don't get it. If someone betrayed me, I just, you know, pew. Not that I want him to do that to you. I just, it seems easier. That's not how it works in Los Panteros. You shoot someone in the face, they're dead. You fuck up their car, they're nothing.
I drove that car all the way here from Guadalajara. My family's so far away, you know? It felt like I was keeping part of them with me. She never let anyone else drive that car. Who? My mom. But when Kimo made her weak, I drove her around. Ah, oh, fuck. I promised her I'd take care of that car. Ella confiaba en mí. Let's go. We can still catch up to him. Nah. If Sergio's gonna fuck with my family, I'm gonna fuck with his. It's me. Time to pay Sergio back for what he did to my car. I have a plan, but I need you to get me into the Scorpion factory. That's Pantero's HQ. Oh, give me a sec, give me a sec. Got it. Meet me at the FB's in Mercado. So, you said you've got a plan? Yep. I'm gonna blow up all their cars and destroy the forge so they can't make more. Uh, how, exactly? Today's the first Wednesday of the month, barbecue day. Everybody will be outside for lunch. The factory will be almost deserted, except for the cars. We get in, go through the garage, torching everything with wheels. You take care of anybody who might try to stop us. Then, when we get to the forge, I know where they keep the oxyacetylene tanks for welding. That stuff's explosive as fuck. You hold them off while I roll the tanks right down its throat. Boom. No more forge. Damn, that is a plan. The best part is, Sergio's out on a collection run. By the time he even hears about it, it'll be too late. Doing Nina. Esto es por ti, mamá. All their cars, but this one, huh? How's it feel? Fucking great! I don't like it, Eli. Yeah, no doubt. This fucker's hogging all the sloths. I'm talking about what we're paying the crew. You mean what we're not paying the crew? Bullets and 401ks are expensive. There's a bunch of ways we can get some quick cash. Nina can boost some cars, I'll do hits, Kev can run a bake sale. I'm not sure that's gonna work. Look, man, I know I normally do savory, but I can bake the shit out of some macaron. Meerkat me. Look, if you want insured salary killbots, we need to bring in a lot more cash. All right, so what? We rob a bank? No. We rob a train. I don't know where this is going. But it sounds like my kind of stupid. Okay, you know how banks have federal requirements for how much cash they need to keep on hand? No. Well, they do. And since the economy in Santo Ileso has skyrocketed, they have to keep bringing in more money to meet the minimums. And let me guess, they move it in by train. It's really more of a mobile fortress. Oh, good. How do you know so much about this? Sergio talked about wanting to hit it every time it rolled into town. But you guys never made a play for it? We never had enough hardware. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. The Forge. That's what they were gearing up for. Oh, so the impossible to rob train is going to be attacked by the Panteros as well. Cool. Look, I'm not saying it would be easy, but we have time to plan. Oh, and Kev, I'm taking your wallabies for the win. <laughs> uh, damn it. Yes! Okay, so it's a tough job. Let's get some extra muscle. A top-tier murder machine to help me out. You have someone in mind? I do. Someone I met during my stint at Marshall. It'll be a tough sell, but I bet we can persuade him. Cool. Let's give him a call. Can't do that. Oh, uh, why? He's being detained in a privately owned prison called The Frontier. You want to break out the Nawali, don't you? Assuming he hasn't been extrajudicially murdered by now? Yes? 
What can go wrong? I mean, I could die. But let's be positive. Coming up on the frontier. Shit, that place is a fucking fortress. I'm gonna stay low to avoid detection. I'm gonna have to find a way to do the same. You know, maybe actually be stealthy for once. Hey, I can be stealthy. That's why I dug out my old Marshall uniform, to blend in. I'm like a total stealth pro. Seriously? You used a hand grenade to open a bottle of beer. That was one time! Wow. We should go. What makes you think there is a we? If there's not, you'll never know why I risked breaking you out. Very well, lead on. The main gates are still open. Just get yourself a car and drive through. Ah! Get in the car! Aim for the gates! I see them! They're headed for the gate! Close the gates! Close the gates! Hurry! They're shutting you in! So much for going out the front. Nina, you got eyes on an escape route? I can't see anything. They're chasing me out of the airspace. Oh, so you only planned half a rescue. Do that. Get the servers back up! There! We're out of the prison. And how will you get out of the canyon? Uh, to the left. Which is taking us back to the prison. Shit. No, we can drive across the roof. My plan exactly. Fun times. Whew! That was fun, huh? You hungry? Thanks for stopping. Figured you could use a good meal. Okay. Good's a little generous. All right, it's a lot generous. But I'm willing to bet it's better than what they serve you in the frontier. I appreciate it. And my freedom. Even if you're the one who put me there. Oh, shit. Is this gonna be a problem? I know what it feels like to be judged for following orders. Sounds like a hell of a story. It is. You wanna tell me? We're not friends. We could be. I should go. Need a ride? No, no. It will be nice to walk. But thank you for offering. Call me when you're ready to talk about the job. Sorry about not being able to connect the other day. A whole lot of people tried to kill me, so I had to, you know, murder the shit out of them, and, well, time got away from me. Eh, it happens. You meet the rest of the crew yet? No, I was waiting for you. Well, let's meet him. Hey, everyone. I'd like to introduce you to the Nawali. He's here to make our train robbing dreams a reality. It's nice to meet you, sir. I'm Eli. I'm Kevin. Everyone calls me Kev. You're not wearing a shirt. Less shirt, more power. I'm not sure that's how it works. Yeah, don't try to figure it out. I'm Nina. It's nice to meet you. Yes, a pleasure. So, shall we plan the heist? No. I thought you called me here because you wanted to prepare for the robbery. Correct. So we are planning the heist? Mm, no. Okay, I must admit, I'm confused. What are we doing? Team building. What? Look, you don't know us, we don't know you. But we're putting our lives in each other's hands, so we need to be on the same page. Eli threw out the idea that we should spend a day doing some team building exercises. You know, so we can really get a sense of... camaraderie. We have hats. I thought we agreed to use the flare. This is better. I'm with Nina. I... 
have so many questions. And that, my friend, is what team building is all about. <laughs> Come on. Hand to God. Even I think that's crazy. Hey, when you're dealing with the Aztec cartel, it's best not to ask why and just go with it. <laughs> it's getting late. I should probably get going. Thanks for dinner, Kev. It was great. Thanks, man. The marinade does all the work. You're too modest. Drive safe. Thank you. And please, make Kev wear a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Not gonna fucking happen. Let me walk you out. Look, I know we're kind of ridiculous, but when push comes to shove, there's no one I want more by my side than those guys. They're good people. They are. I, I guess what I'm saying is, I know you're looking at the heist as a one-and-done sort of thing. You know, a, a debt that you're paying off, but it, it doesn't have to be. I'll think about it. Please do. Right on time. So, how do you want to do this? I don't know. Drive to the train, figure out where they're keeping the dough, hop aboard, and then... kill the shit out of anyone who gets between us and our money? Sounds good. Let's move. Uh, wait. Before we go... Oh, no, I, I have a couple on me already. <laughs> Before the whole Saints thing got started, I... I got depressed and ordered a whole lot of knives. I figure if this is our only run together, you should at least get a souvenir. It's beautiful. Thank you. Let's get that money. Once things went as planned. Let's see how we did. That enough to cover the crew? You goddamn right it is. <laughs> you might even have enough left over to buy some proper stemware. Then they wouldn't be mug mosas. Thanks for your help. Thanks for the knife. Think about what I said. <sighs> I will. And if you guys need anything, just call. He was a nice guy. Sad to see him go. He carved out Sergio's heart. Okay. He was an intense guy. Sad to see him go. Hey, we had a big win today. We should do something irresponsible to celebrate. What do you have in mind? Oh, I don't know. The money fight! <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Oh, we don't almost kill Kev. I was in the moment! <laughs> you 
dumb son of a bitch. I am so sorry, Kevin. Buy me a stand mixer and all is forgiven. Deal. Okay. We got the name, we got the space, we got the logo, we got the employees. And we got the fucking money. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Which means there's one thing left to do. How do we make a statement? Well, uh, we just robbed a money train and killed Sergio in a particularly horrific fashion. Oh, so you ripped out Sergio's heart. I was there for moral support. It doesn't matter. Because word on the street is that the Nawali was a one-man wrecking crew. The Saints didn't get any shine from the heist. So, we're gonna need something that establishes us as an institution. All right, so we need to do something that says, we're not going anywhere, come at us. Exactly. We steal the Hummingbird Codex. Marshall wanted to protect it. Panteros and the Idols wanted to steal it. And if it wasn't for that fucking book, we wouldn't have formed the Saints. It should be ours. I like it. How do we do it? I mean, I figured we'd just go in with a bunch of guns and kill the shit out of everybody. But if we want to do some heist movie stuff, I can work with that. Yeah, that's cool. Guns work. Sounds good. So the Idols hide their stolen stuff in an abandoned boat shop? Under the boat shop. They've got stash houses all over the city. I figure the Codex is probably there because it's closest to the museum. And it's practically next door to us? I know. Stealing the Codex is going to be the easiest statement we ever made. Hells yeah! Hey, you neon assholes! We're here to steal back the Codex you stole! After it was stolen from other people! Disrupting the market, FTW! Ah! The vault is at the bottom of those stairs! Got the codex! Take the L! Good surprise there. Disarm this? Probably. Marshall training, Marshall training. Got it. Oh, those fuckers almost fucked us up. And we better fuck them up twice as much to make our statement. You mean find the codex and bust some serious heads? Hells yeah! I don't think the bomb went off. So we do this the fun way. Let's think. If the Codex isn't here, where would they have taken it? They didn't just move the Codex. They emptied this whole place. So how do you empty a boathouse? Of course! The Collective's yacht! It's like their HQ. I bet they transferred everything there. Then that's where we're going next. There's some jet skis out back. We can grab one of those. The Idols won't shoot at their own jet skis. This is gonna be an epic statement. That yacht's guarded AF! Dude, did you just say AF? Yeah, it's an abbreviation. First, we fucking swear all the time. Second, it's only an abbreviation when you text. AF, as fuck, same number of syllables. Okay, fine. This is gonna be an epic statement because that yacht is guarded as fuck. Every last one of them is gonna learn what happens when you try to blow up a saint. Hells yeah! We're gonna want a different way back. It would suck to get the codex wet. No worries. Call home for a ride. Hey, Nina. Can you send a helicopter to pick us up from the Collective's yacht? Are you two crazy? <sighs> Let me see who I can find. Really gun for the jumps. That should do it. Come kick some ass! Fun <laughs> times. Codex is here! Yes! Let's make our statement! <laughs> We've got the co- Oh, shit! It's booby-trapped. Again? I'm getting really tired of defusing these things. Got the... pink wire. Got it. Fucking fucks! They nearly blew us up again! I say we return the fucking favor! Hells yeah! I got the Codex. 
Let's get this bomb to the bridge. Hey Kev, did we just trap ourselves on a boat with a live bomb and a bunch of angry idols? Hell, yeah. We should probably get out of here before our bomb blows up. Good call. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. Holy shit! Keep your head down and run. Don't get too close to the flames and you'll be fine. Grab that speedboat. Shove the codex in the watertight compartment. I'll drive. Whew. Things got a little crazy over there. Seriously. Why does stuff like that keep happening to us? I don't know. Who messes with the saints? No one! I said, who messes with the saints? No one! You're goddamn right, no one. The Saints aren't a flash in the pan. We're here to stay. The four of us founded the Saints, but it belongs to all of us. It belongs to anyone who dreams of making something of themselves and are fucking tired of the world trying to hold them back. Life is hard enough without having to deal with middle managers with no discernible talent telling you how to do your job without having to deal with assholes who've had every opportunity handed to them but never had to fucking work for a single one of them. Without being told that your time will come, you just have to wait. Be patient. Well, let me tell you something. We're fucking done waiting. We all did the work. Now it's time for us to reap the benefits. Kev? I think it's time you throw us a hell of a party. What's up, Bob? Do you think we have enough crate paper? Come again? Crate paper. Do we have enough? <clears throat> it's crepe paper with a P. Really? Yeah, really. Sorry, folks. Party's over. Who the fuck are you? Chet Drummond, Marshal General Counsel. The Saints are now a wholly owned subsidiary of Marshal Defense Industries. Ha! <laughs> uh, no. The employment agreement you signed when we hired you contained a non-compete clause. I signed a lot of shit. I didn't actually read it. Not our problem. By attacking Marshal interests, to wit, the Frontier Prison, our cargo train, and various other assets, you became a competitor. So, what's your fucking point? Pursuant to Article 9, Section 12, Paragraph 36A, you have surrendered all rights and ownership of the Saints to us. Eli? Oh my god, he's right. Of course I'm right. I wrote the fine print myself. You are aware that didn't solve the issue, right? Yeah, but he was being a dick. Atticus thinks we're gonna roll over while he takes what we built? Fuck that. I'm declaring all-out war on that asshole. Hell yeah! It's a revolution! I'll rally the troops. Tell everyone to meet us there. You know Marshall won't fight this kind of war. They'll fight a war of red tape. We need to think this out. I have thought it out. I'm going to fucking kill Atticus. Saw that coming. But that won't solve our problem. It'll solve my anger. This is a binding legal document. You can't just shoot your way through it. Maybe we try using our words this time. Fine. I'll call Atticus and tell him why I'm going to fucking kill him. A step in the right direction. You have called Marshall Defense Industries. Please listen to the menu options as they have recently changed. Ugh, what do I press to speak to a person? For customer service, press 1. For billing, press 2. 
For the complaints department, press 3. Oh, finally. All of our operators are currently busy. To leave a callback number, press 1. To leave a message, press 2. To leave a death threat, press 3. Fuck you, 3! Sorry, that inbox is full. Goodbye. See? Tried words. Back to murder. Murder can't solve everything. You shut your mouth. I'm just saying we'll need to use our heads to get out of this one. This is more complicated than our usual shit. Look, let's just kill Atticus first, so everyone can calm down and then you can think of a real solution. Sounds like a win-win. You know, except for Atticus. But fuck him. Am I right? Wow, you know you two are being enablers right now. I don't know what to do to Atticus first. Punch him in the face or kneecap him. You could just shoot him. Nah, I want to draw this out. Make him feel it, you know? Curb stomping? Ah, kind of a pain to haul him outside. None of that will help our cause. You know that, right? Then what will? We could tie it up in court. In court? We're criminals. Not in Marshall's books. I'm sure they'll list us as a corporate acquisition. Play it right and we could drag this out for years. We're not waiting years. Except for in this fucking elevator. Seriously, what the fuck? What happened? Why'd we stop? Security lockdown. We're on foot from here. Atticus, you son of a bitch! Wait, Myra Star? Didn't take you long to get up here. You are a plucky one. Where's Atticus? Oh, he turned tail and flew away the second you entered the lobby. I told him this whole Saints business would bite us in the ass, but he never listens. Then give us back the Saints. As chair of the board, I could. Only problem is Atticus holds that title. That man has been a bee in my bonnet for a long time. How about we help each other out? Fine. Tell me where he is and I'll kill him. Now, not so fast. You kill Atticus and his seat on the board will pass to his next of kin, who won't help you. Then I'll kill them too. And then their kin, and then theirs. The Marshall family is large and ornery. They'll never help you. But you help me vote him off the board, and I'll scratch your back real good. So... how do we do that? If you make Atticus look bad enough, our company's stock price will tank. Shareholders will panic, and the board will have no choice but to change leadership. That's when I'll take over and give the Saints back to you. All right, you got yourself a deal. What the hell do you think you're doing? You're just in time for the vote. You think you could fire me? My family built this business! My name is on the goddamn building! Our stock price is rock bottom, and our shareholders want your head. It's the Saints! They exposed the frontier. They robbed my train! They ruined my good name! We've done the risk assessment, and you are a liability. Bullshit! This company's nothing without me! The motion is to terminate Atticus Marshall and appoint me chair of the board. All in favor? All opposed? You have a tie. Now what are you gonna do? Let's ask the tiebreaker. Looks like you're all out of lawyers. You held up your end of the deal. And now, so have I. The Saints are all yours. Thanks. We made a good team. Don't go mistaking us for friends. This was business. You interfere with Marshall again, and you'll get the horns. You sure you're at the right party? This is a celebration for the Saints, is it not? We got a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros, fuck the Idols, fuck Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby! We built this together. 
Thanks for getting shot, Eli. Should we go in? You guys go. I just want to take a minute out of here. Heard there's a party. Hey! It's good to see you, man. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About the Saints. I've been alone for a long time. I always viewed friends as a liability, a weakness. But I was wrong. Seeing you with Kev, Nina, Eli, they really make you stronger. Yeah, they really do. I want to know what that feels like. Well, let's go. <gasps> Well, because I cannot live your life if you are still breathing. <laughs> you have a lot of heart, but let's face it, I'm just a, a better version of you. You could not even protect yourself. How would you ever protect your friends if someone like me came along, huh? This is for the best. Do not worry. I'll keep our friends safe. You can't do anything right. You ruin everything. That's why you needed me. Now you're dead, and everything you built is mine. Your friends are mine, your empire is mine. The saints are all mine. Like hell they are. up, the music's pounding, the party's starting. Where did you go? Antonio's still waiting to talk to you. Dude's sitting here with a big briefcase of money. Let's not leave that on the table, huh? Where the fuck are you? The Nawali's gone crazy. He's shooting. Hi, Nina. You will not be needing your phone any longer. Oh, God. Everything smells amazing, Kev. Uh, you know what would make it smell even better? Let me guess. Pancakes. You know it. <coughs> hey, look who's home. How was your day? <sighs> Not bad. I got some blood on my favorite shirt. <coughs> Sounds like you could use some champagne. Hmm. Thanks, Eli. Please, sit. So, what did you all do today? You know what we did. You're upset. You think? I do not like to see you upset. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before- Nina, please! 
We'll discuss your gratitude later. Hello. Where are they? They're safe. I am coming for you, motherfucker. Good. It'll save me some time. I'm sorry. That threw me off. Uh, okay. <clears throat> we'll try this again with a little more energy. And Kev, be sure to have some club soda ready, eh? I don't want this stain to set. Everything smells amazing, Kev. Come on, Kev. Pick up. Pick up! Yo, this is Kevin. My phone's on silent, so leave a message after I drop the beat. Wait for it. Wait for it. Kev, I don't know if you'll... when you'll get this, but... everything's going to be fine. I'm coming to get you, okay? I won't let you down. reached Eli's voicemail. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you'll leave a message, you can trust I'll get back to you in a reasonable time frame. Eli, it's me. You hang in there, okay? You're not gonna get hurt this time. I'm on my way. This is Nina, you know what to do. Hey, Nina, I'm coming. I'm gonna kill the bad guy this time. You gonna come out and face me? Or do I gotta come to you like last time? See you soon. All right, here's the deal. You motherfuckers know where your boss is keeping my friends. So how about you just tell me, and then I can be on my way. Any takers? I know it's not likely, but you know, I figure I should do due diligence. It's really in your best interest, I... I only need one of you live to tell me what I need to know, and the odds of it being you is pretty... You know what? Fuck it. I tried. Dude, I've had a long fucking day. Can we... Can we please be reasonable people? I can't... You're gonna say you can't tell me because the Nawali will kill you, then I'll say... If you don't tell me, I'll kill you, and we're just gonna be right back to where we started, so let's just skip that part. No, I was gonna say I can put the address in your phone. Oh. Uh, yeah. That'd be super helpful. You mind unlocking it? Whoops. Sorry about that. Uh... You're a fucking maniac. Well, you know, I have a lot of practice and pent-up rage. I hear that. Parents? Alimony. Ah. Anyway... Secret bunker address is in there. Thanks, man. I'm George, by the way. You're an all right guy, George. When you wake up, you should stop by the church. The saints could use a guy with some common sense. Ooh. Now, let's see if my biometrics still work on this VTOL. How long are we gonna play house for this nut job? Hey, look, as long as he's happy, we're not dead. We just need to figure out a way to escape. Maybe I could poison his food? He makes you eat whatever you cook for him. I can take one for the team. Don't be crazy. What if we try... Holy shit, are we mic'd? No. This is something else. I want them secured. What's going on? It's for your own safety. It's our roommate, isn't it? They're here to save... <clears throat> save you? Is that what you... Eli, I'm sorry I hit you. There's a lot going on right now, and I got upset. Everything's going to be fine. Don't worry, guys. I'm coming. Nina? Kev? Eli? You need not worry over their safety. They are with me now. Alas, you will not survive long enough to see this for yourself. I'm coming to end you, asshole! Just gotta do this first. Do not worry, my friends. Things are going back to the way they were. You guys okay? 
We're fine. Why is Cab wearing a shirt? Oh, it's a lot. Look out! <laughs> don't you see? You were never meant to protect them! You don't get it. They don't need my help. I need theirs. <laughs> It'll be better when I get this stupid shirt on. Where the hell are you? You aren't even gonna show up? Predictable as always. Bring the gun to a helicopter flight. It will be the last decision you make. You have nothing to say in reply? I'm done talking. You guys should come up here. It's a hell of a view. Mortal terror aside, today was a good day. Yes, sir, it was. I'm really sorry, guys. About what? You saved our ass. It was also my idea to get the Nawali's help in the first place. No one could have predicted that much crazy. Bad hires happen. It's okay. No. If anything happened to you guys, I... Hey, we love you. 
I love you guys too. That's because we're fucking awesome. Here, here. You know, the Saints have only been around for like a minute, and we've already gained and defeated a nemesis. Not a bad start. No. Not bad at all. a lot lately done a lot lately hard to believe there's much of anything left to do if you see a faded sign at the side of the road that says 15 miles to the oh. Love Shack, baby, love Shack, 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 love Shack, baby,
at the love.